Good morning, everyone. Woke up to a rainy day today in Georgia, but that's not going to stop us. We're going to continue on with the uh, left wing today. Got the 170A model here. We're putting the Sportsman Stole Kit on. Uh, yesterday, I got all the ribs glued in place, and I finished the day out by just uh, temporarily attaching the leading edges uh, just to hold everything nice and secure while the uh, silicone sets up overnight. And if you missed the first video, I'll go back and find that because it kind of shows the process where everything was installed. And here I'm making the paper templates, or actually masking tape templates, for the cabin air vent. Okay, here I have the plenum block installed and sealed. It is a little different than what the plans showed for the B model. Uh, it just requires a short block, and I didn't have any interference issues uh, that they talk about could be a possibility with that first rib. Then here I'm installing the doubler for the stall warning. Just laying it out right now for the plans. And this is a masking tape template I made of the original hole layout. I started out with a step drill in the corners of the leading edge here. This is for the uh, stall warning doubler installation, just to get nice rounded corners. And then I came back with some snips and a uh, die grinder to clean everything up. Here I'm just cleaning uh, the edges and the corners with a uh, flat file and I've got a rat tail file for the uh, corners to keep the corners nice and rounded. And finishing off with some sandpaper just to try to polish everything to eliminate any cracks in the future. Now that everything is smooth, I'm installing the doubler plate with uh, some Clecos, just using a number 40 drill. And finally finishing up by squeezing the included rivets to attach the doubler. Here's the finished product. 
And the next step, I've got the most outboard wing skin taped into place and have it marked to cut per the plans out at the tip. And this is after I made the cut. And I have the fiberglass transition fairing put in place temporarily. And then the next outboard skin, have that taped in place and we'll be trimming that in the same fashion that we did the tip. Marking it with masking tape for the plans. And then once that's trimmed, marking the fiberglass fairing and trimming the most inboard skin. And there's the uh, airspeed indicator. I had to cut a oval slot to get it to slip over. And I've also marked the landing light positions. And there's the cabin air vent and the stall warning. The cabin air has been cut out and the stall warning mounting has also been cut out. Next step is to lay out the holes in all the leading edges. I just did it on a flat table with a long straight edge and then a little square to make sure I have all my edge distances correct. And here they are installed with Clecos. And this is pretty much where I left off for the end of the day. More to come tomorrow. Thanks for watching.